Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to game number two. It's S4 versus Fear, Queen of Pain versus Puck. Currently, S4 is leading this first best out of three, one, zero. Prepare and the reason I say the first battle. best out of three is Fear has a winner's bracket advantage. So if S4 wins this game, then we move on uh, to a deciding second best out of three. If Fear wins this game, then we go to game three. And if Fear wins that game, then he wins the whole shebang. So S4, still at least three games for him to win ahead of him. You see the good manners coming out for both players. They respect each other. I'm LD. I'm joined by Luminous. And Lumi, really solid play, I gotta say, by S4 in that game one. Well, I still, again, I'm not sure if this is correct, but I still believe that Puck has a slight inherent advantage. So let's see how S4 plays this one on the flip side, Queen of Pain on Dire. Now, he does have the quote-unquote rune control advantage, because Blink's just a lot more spammable than that orb, lower mana cost, so a lot more mobile as a hero. And he is going some next-level path. I think he's trying to snipe a courier that might be trying to check a rune or something. And no such luck. No free wins for you, S4. Well, last game we saw Fierce Courier just, you know, strutting down in the lane, backing off. Puck did not have the orb at level 1. He goes for Fade Shift, which is what you do in 1v1. So he wasn't able to kill it, but S4 is quite a pay in this game. And he says, Fear, if you scout with that Courier, I am going to make you pay. As far as the item builds go, pretty much identical to what we saw last game. You see just a bunch of stats and then building towards the Null Talisman for Fear. That's what S4 did last game. And this is important because it just mitigates that slightly means. inferior last hitting ability of the puck at the early levels. Yep, here we go. The creep block is also a very big part of this uh, 1v1. And seems like, I want to say that Queen of Pain has a better block, but that could change very quickly as one of these melee creeps. Oh my god, they're gaining on him. S4 is going to miss that block. And Old oh. Man Fear, his back is still very strong at blocking. Yeah, that's a great block by Fear. S4, S4 always tries to get the range creep in front, and he's a little bit, I'd say, greedier for that than some other players who are just content to get a solid all-around block. If you do get the range creep in front, then it really messes up your opponent's last hitting, and they're forced to fight up. You're basically allowed to be up on your hill for the majority of the matchup if you play it properly. And S4 has gone for Scream at level 1. He actually was shadow... Sh I want to... Oh, what hero was it? He was shadow striking creeps, I think, on Queen of Pain the last hit in one of the earlier not. series. Uh, maybe it was, I think it was him. It was something like that. It's like an ability that he used to harass that he was using the last hit. So S4, not afraid to do that just to get the bottle out as quickly as possible. Or in this case, the Null Talisman. Yeah, he's going to go for uh, just extra last hitting damage. I guess there's going to be a lot more passive harass. Perhaps not really real life, or kind of relying on the Shadow Strike. He knows he respects Fear. Fear is going to be able to dodge that Shadow Strike a lot of times. And both these guys are just trading for form right now. And I guess having that quick no Talisman would mean quite a bit, or at least S4 thinks it, it does. So we'll see how it pans out here. Because yeah. you know Puck is going to be saving for that quick bottle, for sure. So for a 3-400 go, S4 is going to have the advantage there. And let's see how much advantage that's going to mean for him. I gotta say, S4, I think the thing that's most impressive about his play is his last hitting. He's been really good at it all tournament long. And it might sound like a silly thing, like, oh, can't all pros last hit? And yes, if they're left alone in the lane, they can. But it comes down to mind games. Are you going to try and mess up your opponent's last hitting? Are you... Oh, he's going in on Look fear. at him go. Yeah, he just blinks up forward. And sure, uh, Puck dodges one. But that's a lot of damage. Early south being taken out. And you can see that just with that nice. slight extra damage increase of no talisman, he's walking up the hill. Got to be very careful, though. Puck with a phase shift will make you eat a lot more damage than you really want to. And Puck is close to his uh, bottle in about 200 gold. Yeah, I think he's going to skip the Null Talisman at the rate he's going because he's sitting on 400 gold right now. He could get the bottle a little bit quicker. That two-minute rune to spawn, neither player has used their courier to scout for it. So we'll have to see what's going to happen with that rune. The orb's coming out. Oh, on Ooh, S4, S4 eats it as well. That's a, that's a pretty big mistake because he's out of region after that self. And that bottle's not coming anytime soon. Meanwhile, Fear, with his bottle, he's going to be nuking like crazy. I think eating that nuke uh, just really put him back in a disadvantage. Again, using that no talisman for kind of a bigger trade of, of, of last hits has not really favored him too much. Yeah, Fear's holding a point right now of his skills. And I'm wondering, I guess he's maybe thinking about two points in phase shift. Nope, he's going to take silence there. Yeah, I think I think silence is just too good to skip up, uh, especially against a Queen of yeah. Pain. So it would be surprising, but he was holding on to it for quite a while. Yep. S4. So the bottle is gonna come right now. Hopefully, Fear doesn't suicide that career, or it could be actually a bait in a sense. Yeah. Have you seen Queen of Pain like just blinks in for that career or something? And I I don't I think we saw one courier snipe attempt, and it was actually one of the games played. Uh, Illusion is gonna be picked up top by fear. It was one of the games played in uh, in the old patch where the courier could block the creeps. Sensei was actually trying to snipe the enemy courier as Shadow Fiend up against S4's Pudge, and S4 saw him, came around, and just rotted him to death, just running him down at level one. 
<laughs> some 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 funny play from Sing Sing. He's very creative like that. But S4, more about just the very solid mechanics. City of 15 and 4, still a very even game. Fear has recovered nicely with the last city, and he had a bit of a slow start. And the illusion rune makes it a lot easier. Yeah, S4 is going to be downing behind for a long while. Again, combating against the double regen of that bottle and, of course, the recharge bottle. So, at this point here, I think S4 is looking for level 5 and hopefully could blow away all these uh, illusions in one fell swoop. And he does get it right now. He's walking in and it's going to miss. I guess now he's looking to push the creep way. It is 4 minutes in and Puck has not been using his illusion to check. S4, unfortunately, ooh, he sees the rune and he knows he gets wrong, so he's going to head the other way. By the way, I think that was a missed micro on Fair's part. Yeah, like like we saw last game, you can use those illusions to deny runes and also to scout them. Also, S4 is going for that stats build. He has not taken any points of Shadow Strike. Yep. He's not leveling like up it. Link. This is, I feel this is the best way to win the match with Queen of Pain. Get tanky enough that the puck just cannot kill you with this combo and slowly out siege him. Because, like you said, Scream of Pain will outpush the puck's orb. You can spam it more. And it's very hard to kill the puck early. So I think this is a smart build by him. Yeah, despite the early rune by Fair, you can see S4 is leading in terms of CS now, which is uh, something you say could be expected because he has a no talisman. On the flip side, though, S4 definitely had a tougher time in terms of recovering. And looks like he's. Oh, nice! Nice bait here by S4. He uses the blink animation. Fear sees it and uh, just playing with Fear's mind a little bit here. It's very important. It's especially important on a hero like Pudge in a 1v1 where you really want to bait out, say, their Blink or their. In the case, if you're up against Pudge. Oh, he's going in. Yeah, Blink and then holds it later. Dream Core gets dropped. S4 perhaps in a little bit of trouble. He has a region in his bottle, but he's eating a lot of nukes. Phase comes out. S4 will be able to pop that region. He could go on the chase. The thing is. Fair does have another phase shift, and he can't. He's still going for it. I'm not sure if this is going to be good. Uh, oh, did not silence shift orb, and now S4 in big trouble. He's going to get away. There's a blink. Fear. There's a scream. There's an ult. Fair is waiting. He's trying to bait up the phase shift. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a brilliant play. Oh my god. Such next level mind games for both players. S4 keeps on canceling the ult. Finally he pops it, and Fear was ready. Wow. Fear could not run there. He had to just outplay him with the, the the control of when to use that level one phase shift, which is not easy to do. The thing is, I, neither player... Well, I, I don't think Queen of Pain had to actually take that fight, right? Yeah, she she, was S4 free. thought she, he had it. And S4 was a lot lower in terms of HP, and I guess he was just confident that he's going to hit it or Fear is going to miss the dodge, and now with the 100 second cooldown left on that scream of uh, Sonic Wave, S4 can't actually take a fight until then. Yeah, he's gonna bottle up a haste, but haste turn, as we saw in the Sing Sing Merlini match, it doesn't always help you against Puck, because that Dream Code does a lot of damage if you break it. It's quite significant. Sure. Uh, not anything you want to underestimate. Plus, you'll get hit by an extra tower shot or two in many cases. So, even with the haste, S4 still could drop. Going the stats build, I'm surprised he forced the kill because he's going stats build. This is more of like your Siege Engine Queen of Pain. Just, you slowly but surely whittle down the opponent. So, he's gone stats, but he got aggressive there and he paid. Yep, but S4 is back to the farm train. He's really pulling ahead now, despite the first blood on Fear. Um, again, this is we're, we are approaching a game where this might go fairly long, unless Fear gets a quick kill, which uh, I don't think he can, judging from his item. He do, does he have a Treads coming something? No, he doesn't. It's just no, a, they're just dead a even in net worth right now. Queen of Pain and, has and something this on the after way. After the first blood, right? So Queen of Pain is actually doing a lot better in terms of lane control. Eight CS ahead. That is a significant lead, and S4 just. With the, with the stats build, the other benefit is not only you're harder to kill, but it's easier to farm. It gives you a little bit more damage, a little bit more mana to spam your nuke. So if you want to go late against a puck in a 1v1, it's the, it's the smarter build. The reason we don't see this in competitive play is, well, you can't contribute to your team as much. You want to be more mobile in the fights. And uh, uh, Sports going in again. Yeah, he's got the haste rune right now. Phase has been used. I'm surprised he didn't blink on top of that. Now they obviously very surprised to see S4 actually took that fight with... Oh! That orb just went all over the place, <laughs> and uh, he's got I'm, all. I'm surprised to see him take the fight without Sonic Wave. Now it's on cooldown. He wants to use a haste rune, and Fear could do something crazy here under the tower. And this is a big fight. Silence again. Dream Call. S4 is dead. Yep. No. That. I yeah, that was a bad questionable to dive that, but maybe S4 just felt like giving up that first blood. He just didn't have a shot. I don't think he realized how far ahead in CS he was. He was really, really ahead. So. Uh, he probably could have. He probably could have had a decent shot with the War of Attrition, but he goes in. So guys, we're headed to a game three. If Fear wins this game, he is our champion. He takes on that additional two hundred dollars in prize money. If he loses it, well, then we go to the second best out of three, and the winner of that will be the champion. Stay tuned. More fistful of Tango's action coming up next.